Hello and happy Monday to you from Radically Rational and RadicallyRational.com on what is one of the toughest days of the year for me. Not because the Chiefs won or the 49ers lost, that's absolutely fine, but because it's the end of the NFL season, which always gives me the shivering shakes. But as a Facebook friend said last night, posted, it'll be August before you know it. Okay, ultimately, the Chiefs became the first team to win back-to-back -back Super Bowls in almost two decades because they ultimately out-toughed the 49ers. And the thing is, they were getting out-toughed for much of the game, but we saw what the Chiefs did when the chips were down. More on that in just a moment. Okay, I had mentioned before the game that the 49ers had a greater number of offensive weapons than did the Chiefs. And that was the case, but it was really interesting. You couldn't take all of them out of the game, but Steve Spagnolo elected to eliminate Kittle and Debo, and it was a stroke of absolute genius. I don't want to hear any disparaging of Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy was absolutely fine. He was good, in fact. Travis Kelsey, Interesting case study, one catch in the first half, but he finished with nine receptions for 93 yards. I will tell you frankly, Andy was fine with it, so I guess I was fine with it, but I was a little disturbed with Kelsey bumping his head coach. But you know what? That's not for me to decide. Obviously, it works for the Chiefs, and that was great. Okay, the 49ers made just enough mistakes to get themselves beat. There was the fumble, the turnover on the opening drive in which the 49ers had been absolutely dominant. There was the later special teams turnover, and there was that missed extra point, which did loom very large. Uh, the big winner, aside from the Chiefs, my goodness, this is the third Super Bowl championship of the Mahomes era and the third time that he's been the MVP. And by the way, the third time that the Chiefs have rallied from a 10-point deficit in the Super Bowl. But the big winner, aside from that, I thought was Las Vegas. They pulled that thing off better than I would have thought. And finally, and I'll have lots more later in the days to come, the big loser, no question, Torchy's Tacos Chips, which proved on the biggest sports day of the year, that they just weren't up to Super Bowl pressure. Just could not stand the pressure of avocado on Super Bowl Sunday. Congratulations to the Chiefs. Dynasty, absolutely. The 49ers almost got there. More later. Have a great Monday. Try to hold up if you can. We are radically rational.